Hello everyone, happy new year. Wow, it's been a year. <laughs> so my name is Maria Vanga and I am your psychotherapist and motivational speaker and uh, inspirational author, so many things in one. And I am chiming in from Douala, Cameroon, Africa. Okay, so today is a Saturday and on Saturdays I love to do what I call gimme, general inspiration, motivation, and encouragement, right? Um, I love doing that. I've learned a lot from so many people and I love to share. That's my purpose in life anyway. Um, inspiring, motivating people of all walks of life with my personal experiences. And sometimes to do that, you have to focus. That's my word for 2021. It was revealed to me um some weeks ago or a few days ago something like that i'm a very spiritual person so i was so excited to receive such a straightforward short simple word right um for this year because 2020 was what it was and i i actually had three three not even words like maybe one was what hope another one was why not and another one was yes i can those were Th that was what I got for 2020 and I didn't even know how much I was going to need those for the year. It was really like, ah, so this year focus, that is so beautiful. And I was just thinking about it, like, what can I share with people about the word focus? Um, maybe I could just throw a question out, you know, like ask people if they were focusing on starting and, um, you know, saying and doing things this year in a different way, maybe better and stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, I once did a video, a vlog on focus, focusing on what matters. And uh, sometimes we are so distracted, carried away, trying to get attention from left, right, center, or even from one person who really doesn't have our attention or from, from a project, from anything, you know, and, and so we can misplace our focus or we don't even focus at all we are dispersed as soon as we are starting we are dropping we are moving on we are coming back we are all over the place with our thoughts and our words and our actions so maybe it's time to focus some more right um so that's my word and um i want to show you something i hope you can read it focus planner it's a focus planner i have a friend she's called lamage so she's into so many things. I mean, I really, really admire her. And so one of the things she does is um, this focus planner. She, she started it like a year or two years ago. And um, I've been thinking of buying one, you know, not only to encourage my family, because I love using planners. I used to get other types. So this year I said, my something told me, but why don't you get Lamarche's planner? You know, you see the way her own life is organized. I think that a planner will help you much better than those you go and print out or you know you buy from the bookshop or stuff like that so i contacted her and oh my goodness i saw the planner the name i even discovered it when i went to pick it up two days ago that it's called focus planner and i'm like what a coincidence right oh it's worth the price it's cost seven thousand five hundred francs cf that's cameroon currency and i put the numbers there you can call those numbers to see where you are and how you can get one and i think that if you go to her page on facebook lamage you can um you know contact her to know how you can get one i don't know if you're out of cameroon but anyway it's so beautiful i hope cameroonians can get this you know i don't know sometimes people can spend so much more in bars and on clothes and on stuff you know mascara i don't know all of those things but if it's to get something like this maybe if it's a gift you know people smile and bless you but spend your money and get it do the work uh oh that's another thing i'm a psychotherapist i can tell you a friend was asking me the other day um if you were to divide your clientele one third two third three thirds you know i'm an anglophone but i'm living in the francophone side of cameroon and we have this thing we think that anglophones francophones that different and stuff but yeah well so she said um how would you rate your clientele i say one third anglophones two third francophones and i'm actually being large i don't even think i have up to one third anglophones so it looks like traditionally culturally anglophones don't really like going to somebody with their problems like a therapist not to talk of doing some work the few will come once i give them homework they don't show up the second time 
very few do is when they have serious problems and they really need to focus now on finding long lasting solutions and even then the homeworks they will start job and stuff and you might just have to drop that but the other ones they do the homeworks one client was here the other day with her children she was showing me her therapy book she was so excited and everything and i was moved so i'm also uh, um, encouraged and interested in working with my planner and um, seeing the results actually uh, in 2018 i got this book um 35 days of redefining you for success um by Jaffney joy bird um, his brand name now is Mr. Remarkable and I mean I've attended his workshop too, I've met him, I was so excited and I and I called him my MVP, that's most valuable player and I don't think he got that and he still doesn't get that today because sometimes people don't know that when you come and tap in from them, it's going to just revolutionize things for you and they, they might not even accompany you for the rest of your journey, they might not even know but that's how I felt, you know, meeting this young man. I may be the one who called him. We looked for him online and called him and stuff. Just because I read his profile somewhere, I was like, no, there's something in that young man. Go after him. And that's that. We don't talk every other day. Nothing. I don't even know where he is right now. But I mean, he look, about the author, it's like a full page. At the time, I didn't even know how to write my own profile. And this is a young man. It's not like um, he's my age or generation or stuff like that. So... Frankly speaking, look, I did it day after day for 35 days. I used my pencil because I, I, I was trembling, you know, and I was like, look, this thing has to stick into your head. So you're writing on paper, but you're typing it in your brain. That's how much I did. So today I look at it again and I'm like, wow, I'm close. Eh? I'm really so close. It's good, right? It's good to use a planner. Um, so what does this one have? I just wanted to talk about it. Um, I don't want to say too much about the planner. You can go get yours or go find something. The whole idea is to focus. Stop being all over the place, watching all of, watching whatever, everything, or being after everybody's business and what who is doing and who is wearing what and who is going up and who is coming down i don't know or just say whatever comes to your mind and just spewing everything the whole place and just your life is like where are you you don't know what are you doing oh you are just restless not doing anything you know when your mind is full of muggles all over the place like can you just focus can you just sit quiet for a minute can you not can you just hold in that message you have written it fine you were angry fine but instead of just clicking send can you pause can you breathe i listen a lot to iyala iyala fix my life i watch them own own network you know all of those things i have just not found any one by us africans that has gotten me captivated like iyala fix my life and stuff and i'm just saying well black americans black africans or whatever so it's kind of the same thing i'm really not into that segmentation it has to be somebody from my country or from africa but then i'm just hoping that one day we will also have something like that i don't really look forward to doing something like that on that kind of a global or public scale but who knows right i don't know in the meantime let me be watching let me be inspired to be doing what i am doing and then well to be sharing the way i'm sharing so in this planner, there is awareness and self-discovery. There are some things you'll find which you've already done, but there are some things you've never done. And there are some things that will take you more than a day to do. And some things that will just take you, you know, a few minutes to do. I started working on this thing on, on the 31st one I just got. You have to first read and then you can now start. And I think what I'm doing is like areas I cannot just quickly write. I skip, but I'm going to come back because you have that. And then now you have the the month by month, but I've not even started January yet. I'm still in the introduction, which has things like your vision board. Fortunately, I wrote a vision board last year, so I think I have an idea about vision boards. It's my kid sister who got me into sitting down and doing a vision board, not just running your mouth and saying in your mind, I know what I want. I know. It's true that Corona just came and, you know, played around with my vision board, but at least... I can easily carry forward some things now to 2021 and 
Blame it on Corona. <laughs> My sister was telling me 2020 had four months, January, February, Corona, and December. So I can just say Corona just came and just put me on pause to do the things I wanted to do in 2020. So I'm carrying them to 2021. So you see how I really need to focus if I have to, you know, do those things, right? And, and be those things, be that person and um, all of that. So awareness and self-discovery, it's very important. Your vision, what does a successful life look like to me? Wow. Or for me, what does a perfect day look like for me? Oh my goodness, these kind of questions. My dreams. <gasps> Write down 50 dreams in all areas of your life. Okay, well, areas of focus. So, so organized and everything there in uh, top priority, values, goals, overcoming challenges, habit improvements. Okay, and... Um, vision board and then most important life goals in different areas health and fitness spirituality career and business romance and relationships <laughs> family and friends personal development hey mama's not even finished fun recreation and hobbies finances and network this is something some people who need to go and find a therapist to work with. I'm a therapist too, you know, so I can help you in some areas and in some other areas, I can refer you to another colleague. So you have daily routines, things you are grateful for, affirmations, and then breaking your goals into objectives. Okay, 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 that's enough. But see, this is something that will last you a year and I really, really recommend this to people, especially people who have been struggling with focusing and... Uh, uh, for example, you know, not being on the phone 24-7, not being on social media 24-7, not commenting on every post you read, whether you agree with it or not. You know, you can use an emoji or you can just skip or you mustn't even read everything, right? And, and, uh, and there's a lot. I think that there's also a lot that competes for our attention. So you really need to um, be, be serious about wanting to focus, start from there because once you are serious about it then you can now take the steps look at me i'm sitting in my office today this is a saturday 2nd of january i was in this same office on the 1st of january because i need this quiet space and this focus time outline, outline time to do this so i hope i inspire you i motivate you i encourage you and I hope you know that there's help available if you've been struggling with that. And that it doesn't need to be several sessions. It could be one, it could be two, but you just need to do the work, right? So it's not just about buying the focus planner. It's about doing the work in there. And it's about um, celebrating your milestones. It's about being responsible for that. It's about being accountable. It's about your network, your support network, those you can reach out to if you need some help. I just reached out to one of my big sisters this morning. I have a few people like that. Uh, Michelle Obama says she has, there's nothing wrong, you know, in reaching out for help, in being vulnerable. At the same time, me being authentic, you know, not playing around the whole place. So if I can leave you with a message in this 2020 as we are starting, is that um, as much as you don't want to take life too seriously, please give yourself a chance, take yourself seriously. Some you know, to kind of start the year in a way that you would like to keep the course. Don't start it, you know, just drinking and uh, whining and regretting and cursing and complaining and comparing and envying and all of those things. And then, well, you start to wonder why your year is taking so much time to take off or why things are happening the way they're happening and all of that. So, yeah, if you need help, I'm here. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know. Follow me on Facebook, Therapist Mark. I am magnetic on Instagram. And um, there we go. Until Tuesday for my first session of Therapist Mark 2021. Let's go. Focus. God bless us all.